It's your turn. You go. All right, I will go. How do you do? <clears throat> We're about to unfold the story of Ghost of Frankenstein. My son, would you destroy that which I, your father, dedicated his life to creating? What if it had another brain? Whose brain? Your brain. Bother! What good is a brain without eyes to see? I warned you that you might regret this action. Well, we warned you. You've been warned. Welcome back to Frankenstein Minute. Woo! What is that? That's the podcast that dissects the See, Universal no, Frankenstein films minute by minute. And I am your host, Tom Lang. That's right, Tom. <laughs> and I'm Bill Evenson. That's all I can do. That's all you got. Uh, it's May... There's nothing, oh, where, where, There's nothing where, to what, celebrate. What, what, oh, what this minute is Minute 50. You join us for Minute 52 of All New Thrills, The Ghost of Frankenstein from 1942. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, this week there's nothing? Uh, well, on Tuesday will be the anniversary of Jane Addams dying in 2014. Hmm. I, was, uh, I like her. She was uh, she's in she's, House of Dracula. Oh, okay. And uh, which yeah, one she, is she? She's a hunchback nurse, which I oh, okay. always yeah. felt has a terrible end. She didn't deserve to be no. killed that way. Yep. Jesus Christ. Yep. The, the hounds of cool. uh, <laughs> what music they make. Yeah, yeah, apparently. That's another one. They make. They make. Yeah. <laughs> What is what is <laughs> like happening? He's, like he's letting you know who's making all that noise. It's they are what making, music they make. Not, I not, didn't. Not, say, I'm not me. making any music. <laughs> <laughs> don't blame me there is nothing this is the view out the front door hmm. live as we speak are they barking at my car <laughs> oh you know what probably happened is that somebody walked a dog oh i'm sure you know how dare they yeah that'll that'll, that'll even sick. get easy going but okay. usually not too bad uh, all right, all right. so, so here goes jane adams yeah and she's in uh she's in the brute man which is like the very last gasp for this cycle so much so that universal pawned it off on prc rather than release it themselves oh that's because, right yeah because yeah. they were merging with uh international pictures. so it ends up in different uh box sets where you're like it's why not, is this over I here i had to and... find it i had to find it like from some you know bootleg thing oh i yeah uh, I it's swear gonna, it's it, in some box set, but it's, it's not like, like a, a universal Mystery Science box Theater set or anything. Three thousand box set because they did it as an episode. Oh, they did, didn't they? Yeah. When did they though? Was it late? It was late. Oh, that's yeah. why I forget. Yeah, I'm not as uh, uh, yeah. No, me, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> what was funny is if you know where to look, you can find posts from me on the internet from when uh, season nine was on the air saying oh, really? nice things about the episodes and going, oh, I don't remember watching it. <laughs> but I, I must have liked it. But that was the early days of the internet. You yeah, know? Sure, so yeah. it's like the idea that you could post was amazing. Yeah. And I guess there's something incredibly wrong with me that I didn't immediately just start tearing into shit yeah. and being an Cause, asshole cause that's to everyone what I did. and everything. I did. That's the, gotta because... be the first step because when they showed that Hobgoblins one which yeah. is one of the worst things I've ever seen not their stuff so much but the movie itself is yeah. just unwatchable crap yeah. so yeah one of the first things I posted on IMDB was reviewing that and just shredding it oh wow I'm like this, well, the go. director of this film hates humanity yeah I just spewed bile, bile all over it Yep. and well, I still would because it deserves every bit of it alright well the Russians have uh, and, and know how to get you all <laughs> riled yeah, they up do. they've been doing it since hobgoblins that's right days. they do um, i just assume anybody who's bitching on the internet has been taken in control by the <laughs> russians. russians and the reason i think that is because i was yeah right I, i've told you this right i got a message from twitter in 2017 saying hey you either posted or uh, liked uh russian disinformation <laughs> on our platform thanks <laughs> asshole okay <laughs> Well, you know, I got... I I'm got sure it that. wasn't pro-Trump stuff, because I sure didn't repost no. anything like that, but anyway. I got that, uh, we're going to expose you unless you send oh, us a right, $500 right, right. Amazon gift card. I'm like, expose me for what? Yeah. Like, oh, we have proof that you solicited for sex. Like, oh, do you? Yeah. I guess I kind of wonder... And I assume that was either Russian, Indian, or Chinese. I mean, if you're not... Um, holding political office yeah, like, who or, cares? or a ceo i yeah, guess maybe they said uh, oh you I mean, won't, even then probably yeah you cares? won't be able to show your face in the town where you stay and I'm like oh this is legit yeah, yeah okay that's what that's, bot is yeah. answering all this yeah so like, all right jane adams happy birthday yeah. or dad or whatever it is we, happening we, we to you like we like jane 
I think she's very uh, died. Pretty. She died in 2014. I think, I think she's so very she had a pretty. nice long life. Yes, she's very pretty. I thought. Yeah. Oh, very, yeah. very. Yeah. It's funny that she's the hunchback. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, great. It's a she's, it's she's, a nice subversion of yeah. the uh, blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get <laughs> of the cliche. We'll, we'll, we'll possibly get. That. Well, oh, <laughs> look at you! All of a sudden. <laughs> no, all right. No, what are we doing? <laughs> no, let's go. Is that it? That's it. That's all I got. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's um, nothing. It's it's a it's a sparse time. It's a slow. So yeah. J- no one gets born in the summer. That's when all the conceptions take place. Yeah, James. she died in the summer. Who does that? <sighs> kind of weirdos. My dad. Yeah, my dad too. Yeah. May actually, as it happens. Mm-hmm. There you go. Uh, Igor tries to quote reason with Junior. Still, understand it will kill you. <laughs> or kill her rather. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't know why that amused. <laughs> See, that's what... there's no point to any of this because that you, the thing that's going to make me laugh is you saying understand because that's what he That's where the minute the cuts of off. The minute. Yeah, and your and your player here, your Mac book mm-hmm. or whatever this thing is, <laughs> will play it right up to the end. So we last week we watched. No, no, you do not un... And yep. then when you hit play, it went der sand. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's not even a what is yours cut syllable. It off? Yeah, that's why I put oh. the extra on it. When oh, okay. people are watching it on the pre- Patreon, they'll okay. notice or they won't notice. There's a second of black, then a second of black with the title. Then mm. yeah, otherwise oh, my player will enough. will make the sound won't kick in or oh, whatever. Okay. Yeah, uh, it will kill her. You wouldn't want to kill your little friend. And now, and I always kind of think the same thing when I watch it, and I think you must too because you made a sound. He looks down at her like. Like, wouldn't I? I, I? I don't know. I don't, you know, you don't. I mean. You know. Yeah. But he, again, it, already he does understand what Igor's saying. Just reiterating and, that. And, and she's great because she's like looking at the both of them like, what? Are you, guys you guys are a couple of fucking what weirdos. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Yeah. I wonder what the, you know, if there's some sort of, um, you got to think since they're in a studio that's, that's, uh, slightly better than an ed wood style studio <laughs> no, it's, and they had they had good facilities yeah don't, i guess don't i mean but i mean she she understands not to be scared she thinks mm. these everybody's having fun and yeah. she's just not supposed to laugh or cry right <laughs> <laughs> try not to laugh or cry yeah that's all i'm asking that's all we want then you're then you've got well, you've got peter Be- beat was he, it Donnie? yeah you're already no. you're already better than um no, she's got that great kind of Keaton-esque stoicism yeah, to her that's that true. I think is there you go. just fabulous. I just yeah. love it. Yep. She's she's pretty stone-faced throughout, but Igor has a better idea. You will see. You will have the brain of your friend Igor. Like that, I'm not sure that that's a good selling point either. Yeah, it's bizarre. <laughs> I don't. I mean. Uh... I, I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where to begin. Yeah, I know. I don't, do you... I don't want anything. I don't want to have anything to do with any of it. So yeah, you're going to yeah, take my just... brain and put it in somebody else? I, yeah, I guess I, I, I probably just... it probably ain't going to work. So yeah. go ahead, do whatever you want. Uh, you're going to put someone else's brain in my brain? Well, how am I going to care? Yeah, I, uh, I'm not going to be. Yeah, you know, none of this makes sense. Yeah, and it gets worse once. Actually, Chad I guess Mac... I'm getting ahead of myself because you haven't finished. So then he says, uh, "Oh, it says tonight my brain will be your brains." Yeah. And your, brain. your brain will be her brain. Her brain will be Kettering's <laughs> yeah. brain. Kettering's like, what are you even saying? Will be Bomer's brain, and Bomer's brain will be Elsa's like, brain. Like, could you yeah. make it more confusing? My brain, yes, your you could. Igor's, my brain will be your brain. You could, because you could be Kurt Siodmak writing House of Frankenstein. No, that's a good point. Very good point. Um, yes. Oof. You will get the brain of the wolf man. Yeah, That'd be great if you yeah. said that now. And anyway, wait, what? <laughs> what, what? Who? Yeah, none of this makes any sense whatsoever. Right. Tonight, Igor will die for you. Yeah, okay, so okay. I, wait, I was actually... Well, actually, the way he responds, he's like, oh, yeah, well, why don't you die right now? He <laughs> yes, throws he him up against the wall. Him up against the wall. But I do like the line, and I do like the delivery of it. Lugosi does do a nice delivery on it, mm-hmm. I feel like. I think he's it's, really trying to passion, be, be passionate it's, and say, it's tonight, those, I it's, will it's, die it's, it's for one you. Of those, yeah, it's one of those Lugosi, very performy yeah, yeah, things that... Yeah. that, that it, hammy. Hammy. That seldom works. Here it does. Yeah. Yeah. Does this plot contrivance is what i wrote plot contrivance makes sense only because the monster is dopey um <laughs> well because and, if you had anybody with any is, sense in this, the audience is dopey too because, i guess yeah, so it doesn't yeah. make sense to me well that's why i'm wondering if it only works because the monster is dopey Such and he doesn't dope. know any better so he goes i'll explain it to him and then he explains <laughs> it to him by patting him on the forehead like yeah, a, like, you know 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that's, that's Igor, what's missing is the knocking sound like is on the, his neck. Like on his neck, exactly. Yeah. Is Igor going to die for the monster? Or is it closer to say kind of the other way around? The other way around. That's the way, that's what his hope is anyway. Yes. So it's really nice of him to, uh, <laughs> you know, completely take advantage of his friend, yeah. which he's been doing all oh, along. Oh, he's been I doing guess. that since yeah. uh, Sun. That's true. So he and does, then, uh, maybe, does things for me. Yep. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, he and does. he's going to do one last one thing last for me. One last thing for me. <laughs> but the monster maybe sees through it because he well, does because he just him grabs against him, the wall. He grabs him by the front of his shirt and slams him up against the wall with his forearm like, yes. against his neck. So, I mean, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a rough action. That and the other does. thing I was going to say is the sound of him hitting the wall sounds a little bit less less like someone hitting a concrete or, or, or whatever that is. Stone. Stone thing and more like, a, like the, say, the sound of a 60-year-old man being slammed against a movie set. Yes. But <laughs> as much as it might sound like that, it's kind of off a bit too, so I wonder if it's Foley and it's really it's just, just someone's hitting a board against another board or yeah, something. Yeah, it, it doesn't quite have that sort of hollow echoey sound. Yeah, yeah. But it does, yeah, it does not sound like someone, because there wouldn't be a whole lot of sound hitting a, a stone wall like that. It, it would have, be, yes, that's be true a, too. A, it wouldn't make a lot of loud sound. Lot of, it would make a sickening thud if yeah, your head hit it. Yeah, that's about, about it. it. Probably is foley in because it doesn't have that running around on the hills at the end of Frankenstein hollow sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. But uh, yeah. And by this point, they were making the sets uh, a little sturdier and yeah that's yeah i'm sure it was concrete actual concrete on the wall okay um you know on a, on a plywood base you know actually one of the times i watched it recently because i've watched these minutes too many times i guess uh, but yeah. um I think it was this morning. They cut to Bomer when he throws him against the wall. And there was a part of me that was like, oh, are they cutting away because it looks like he's he's going to slam her head into the wall kind of too? Mm. Like maybe he stops early and it's like, no, they, you get the full on no, effect of him full, slamming yeah, him into no, the wall. Yeah. And then they cut to Bomer. Maybe they cut out a line or something. I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe know. they just want a reaction well, from they, Bomer. They, just want, they establish Bomer being there watching this because yeah, so they, the next cut, he actually then comes that's forward. True. All right. So I think it's a there fair... It's a fair editing technique. I, I, yeah, it's, it's reasonable. Not, it's not covering up something. Anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Just a reaction shot. It's not like that shot of Terry Garr in uh, the pantomime scene <gasps> from Young Frankenstein. Which she gasps. Gasps, and it's a, a different set and a different costume. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's what you get when you shoot everything in a master shot like that, which is a brilliant way to do it. Yeah, tonight, not the right thing to say, because Junior grabs Igor, swings him around, and slams him against the wall. Then uh, then he opens the lab door and starts to, to go in, and Igor has the brilliant idea of, like, no, no, I'll overpower him, sneak in, and shut the door in his face. Yeah. That works really well, because I think right now, Igor will die for you, because yeah, he's crushed, exactly, yeah. crushing him behind the door. Yeah, after what has just happened, he's going to now go, yeah, and uh, this is yeah, something right. that's... Yeah, right, you want to die for me? <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, exactly. And, and then he, he really pushes on him too and in the mm -hmm. script it doesn't play like that in the script it says igor struggling to close the door against the monster so i'm, I'm assuming we're talking about him he's already on the other side of the mm -hmm. door mm -hmm. who with a roar of rage forces the door wide i notice there's a lot of references in the script to the monster making noises and he never makes a sound See, I don't again think. it's what i said a few weeks ago is that really really either thought karloff was yeah. going to be doing it yeah. or really wanted karloff to yeah, be doing right. it uh, with a roar of rage forces the door wide before igor can get clear he is pressed between the wall and the door the monster unconscious of what he has done moves into the surgery yeah that's not how they filmed it, it no plays out at it's all. very obvious that the he, monster knows, knows exactly that igor is smushed doing. behind yeah, this door he and he's slamming him it. harder and harder well, he yeah. keeps pushing on it well igor is back there <laughs> yeah yelling help help yeah. yeah there's no question yeah and then what happens um then uh, bomer springs to action yes yep, yep. To, to, <laughs> to rescue his friend his good friend yeah, well, I, I, one thing I did note is that both Lugosi, who was 60 years old, and Janet Ann Gallo, who was four, are pretty roughly handled yes, in yes, this shot. Very much, yeah. Um, and that's where I hope she had a strap or something holding her up. Because Lon didn't always have the best judgment well, I was for say, things like this. Because sure. there's a shot in one of the Mummy movies where he shatters some plate glass, hmm. and it was real. Oh. And the director's like, no, no, no. We're, oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to replace that. that. He's like, no, I just wanted to show you I had the courage to do it. Yeah. And he's bleeding. Bleeding you know, all over, yeah. So well, like then the other thing is, uh, if you've had me, say, in a boxing match and told me to hold a four-year-old girl while I was doing <laughs> exactly. it, it's hard to do t those two things. Yes. And 
and that's what he's kind of doing here. And you know, so he's I'm, beating the shit out of a guy and holding and, a four year old. Yeah, so uh, you know, to, you would think that yeah, hold her tighter, just yeah, you might unconsciously start squeezing her squeezing to death. Her, yeah. yeah, yep. All right, uh, Bomer springs to action as Junior crushes Igor. Uh, Igor collapses in Bomer's arms. That's true. That's Here. in the script actually. It is. Yeah, he falls into Bomer's arms. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> it's a it's a very it's touching very, moment does, between does, two good old friends. It does point up what uh, you know Vincent and Mike and everybody last week were saying about their relationship. Their relationship, yeah. And there should be more of it because they, they love each other. <laughs> <laughs> that's what this movie really is. It's a love story. Yeah, that, it was, that's why it was originally going to be called uh, No Tomorrow or whatever yeah, it was going to be there called. Is, there is always tomorrow. tomorrow. There's always tomorrow for <laughs> Bomer and Igor. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that would be a, they would be a, a fun couple, I bet. I bet they would, Well, yeah. Pinky uh, well, likes we, a party. We, we, and, yeah. you know, and so does Lugosi, right? I th- wonder if they would they would ever socialize. Lugosi tended to, from what I understand, stick with his Hungarian Yeah, friends. that's true. He didn't want to go so to he didn't Pinky's really. Parties, he probably. didn't really. Yeah. One of the reasons his career went the direction it did is he just really didn't... Schmooze. Schmooze, didn't fit in with that. that whereas Karloff could easily fit in anywhere, really. Yeah. Um, well, and, know, and everybody, at will too. Well, at I will guess too. His, he had a little, little bit. He wasn't going to be a movie star, I guess. It just he, wasn't he in the was, cards. He was in the early '30s, and then, uh, and then as he aged and gained weight, he became a uh, character actor, character which actor, I think yeah. is the best. The best performances we get, yeah, yes. yeah absolutely, yeah. yeah. Although you know, he's the leading man in, uh, well, not leading man, but the lead character in Doctor X, and uh, oh, he's not the title character, but he is the the driving force I don't even remember of Dr. X and Mystery of the Wax Museum yeah Wax Museum that, that you're going back to 32 then that, so that's, that's what still, I'm saying yeah. yeah Yep. there you go yeah alright as Junior carries uh, Chloe to the table it looks like he's yeah the monster her. is clearly going to Go, set Chloe set on, on the ta- operating yes. table so next week we should see yep. uh, that's probably yeah, we'll see how that turned out yep. for them yep Yep. yep. Uh, and finally there's another storm raging outside although it's that's a good point to very little effect in the scheme of things yeah but it's, at not least, a, it's not at a, a clearly defined plot point yeah. as it is in so many Frankenstein right. films, or it's, what used to be, anyway. It's, it's mentioned in the next scene very briefly, yeah. uh, which brings us to the next scene. Yep, Elsa is walking out the front door. She and uh, sends the stairs and goes to the, uh, the, st- the set of the steps that she's walking down is redressed from the Wolfman. Oh, okay. Part of Talbot Manor or whatever it's okay, called. Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. It's been, been redressed to, to not look exactly exactly like it right it's, okay it's more or less the same structure and ludwig calls out elsa uh, elsa and then he prances over <laughs> I just think he's got such <laughs> tiptoes. Great, over. Yeah, he like tiptoes he's a very over. Graceful man, yeah. Um, half insane. Yeah, half clearly half <laughs> insane. And calmly asks her where she's going. Where are you going? Yeah, yeah. he's he's half insane. Yeah, if he was all insane, then he can't, oh yeah can't yeah. imagine. Yeah, he might. Where are you going? He yeah <laughs> he might even raise his voice <laughs> yeah. slightly. <laughs> yep. Yep. And she's a little bit defiant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going out to find Eric, I which is know. not in the script. Oh, isn't it? She just doesn't say that. Oh, okay. He says, I don't even know if he says, Where are you going? Where are you going? But then she immediately, well, no spoilers for next week, yeah. but the, ne- the next thing happens just right, right. away. Okay. But I, why I, is she going out to find Eric? Is he lost? That Probably. No. Well, I, the thing is, she had plenty of opportunity to tell Eric everything and we talked about it she didn't she yeah, defiantly she, didn't in a yeah, way yeah so has she just had it with her father's lies and bullshit because if 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 there's been a turning point it should have been before yeah, eric got there it should have when been, kettering and, was killed in front of her yeah, and all kinds yeah. of you know and there's we, been a murder well, we should have seen it yeah that's true we too really don't that's true there's no ex- explanation for her turn yeah uh-uh. but it doesn't matter mm, whatever that much. who cares uh, and <laughs> it's a fucking movie yeah <laughs> He asks, he asks if she's going out in this storm, which is the only reference really to the storm. That's right. There you go. And that it's so there's that payoff. The obligatory <laughs> storm line. Yep. This, is, this isn't the first storm we've had in the film either. Oh, because a guy got hit by lightning a long time well, ago. Well, that, and then there was another one when she's in the library by herself and the monster's oh, yeah. shadow yep. appears on the wall. And it looked like they put the, the, the drain off of the, um, <laughs> what do you call those things on your house? The gutters. The gutters drain right over <laughs> Elogos's head. <laughs> He's pouring on his head. <laughs> uh, am uh, I remembering that right? Who cares? Yeah, it's close enough. Close. In the storm, yes, Father. And the minute ends. The minute ends. Any more questions, wise ass? All right. And yep, 
Yep. You're right. That's if you're thinking this is the <laughs> the next thing that happens is uh, the minute got any oh. wise ass comments, wise asses, you are absolutely right. And I my 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 thing is just spinning. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. All right, it's time for got any wise ass comments, wise asses. That's where our beloved Patreon supporters are given the opportunity to make comments about the minutes we they, send they, out. The, they get to see the minute beforehand because you send it out to them. Correct. And then can, they. They're, they they subscribe or they um, donate whatever the word is they yeah, pledge pledge I don't know what they do at the wise ass level I've, I've called them subscribers subscribe at the that. wise ass level and Mike Herman writes I know there's a bitter sweetness to the thought that Karloff eventually passed the torch even though it was an inevitability the monster in Ghost would have been a waste of his talents aside from this one scene I would love to see what Karloff would do with the moment where the monster finally realized is Igor is a self-centered sociopath <laughs> who was never his friend and now wants his body. This is the closest Lon Chaney Jr. comes to having any life in his monster, too. There's just a trace of fire behind his droopy eyes. I gotta be honest, yeah. I'm not watching the same movie as Mike. I think no? I think in the end, what we get, it, that's the best explanation for mm-hmm. it, but I don't think I don't think that's entirely what... what well, maybe. I suppose so. He, he is mad at him. Yeah, He's well, clearly think, mad I at think, him. I think that's but what But I, I just kind of picture him just being in a blind rage and literally blind because I don't see in his fire about any fire behind no, his droopy I, eyes. I, I think the answer is somewhere in the middle between you know, the you more and, I think you about it, I I, 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 I shouldn't be so uh, vociferous in my um, uh, talking about Cheney the way I do because it, it does add a real power to it that he slams him against the wall he, and that's he, probably better than he, he does, Karloff would have done. He does have a physicality about physicality, him, yeah, you know, and, and Karloff certainly had that early on i don't know by 42 yeah. if uh yeah it would have been quite the same he would be bothered to do that last uh, time we saw him he was a sneaky monster yeah he was all tiptoeing all tip-toeing over tiptoeing all over <laughs> yeah but certainly think that's why the monster does what he does yeah he grabs i guess that Igor makes sense. and slams him like oh is that right so that's he what has you think, now huh? realized that, that he's that, been hoodwinked what a dick igor has been yeah Okay. Yeah, I, I think so. Well, let's keep that in mind as the movie goes on then, because I don't know if it really oh. plays out that way. Why would he have done that then? Why would he slam? I guess, that you're, I guess that's the only explanation for that, yeah. I, I guess, all right, the way I looked at it was he's being told no, and there's a, he doesn't quite follow it beyond that. Mm, yeah, maybe. And but... he's just mad, like, no, I want this! And that's kind of the way he behaves from here on out, but we'll see. I, I like it. You know what? I like it better the way you and Mike think of it. Okay. Let's think of it that way. All right. We're never going to do this minute again. So <laughs> I now <laughs> proclaim okay. that you guys are right. Okay. Vincent writes, Igor, tonight Igor will die for you. Monster slams Igor against the wall. Shot of Bomer thinking, now this is my kind of party. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. There you go. You yeah. win. Yep. We have a winner. We have a winner. Will writes... Cloestine overheard everything Igor said to the monster, which makes her kind of a bitch for not telling Ludwig what he was planning. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I never thought of that. Could have saved everyone a little yeah. trouble, you, a lot of trouble, you little shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never right. Holy cow, that's really good. I never thought of that. That's very good, yeah. Well, yeah, we'll yeah. see next week because she's got a great opportunity. <laughs> pull, pull Holy the, cow. Pull the plug well, on this whole uh, thing. This is really great because I, there was a part of me that was kind of thinking that part of the problem I was... This is actually really good to me, but it's probably bad for the show because it's going to be out of order now. But one of the reasons why I didn't agree with what you and Mike were saying about him finally realizing that Igor is a, uh, evil mm-hmm. uh, is what's about to happen next week. Yeah. So maybe those scenes just work th- better in I, the other order. I think they're... They're in the right order in the script, though. Yeah, you know, right, th- right. I mean, they're the same as in the script. Yes. But it might work better if it was If they were flipped, order. yeah. I don't know. Anyway. All right. Uh, what else? Do we have extra time? Oh, when do we yeah, have time we have to look at... We have a comment on our oh, YouTube let's, let's go from for it. Uh, a few weeks back. Go episode for Episode 45. Hunt Mason writes, Regarding the episode where Igor raves to Bomer about running the state and maybe the entire country, again, this brings us back to the pesky question of where these films take place. Mm-hmm. Donald Glut, as you call it. I always say glut, but I don't know. It's, he's, he I've says heard glute. him say glut. Right. Yeah. In his Frankenstein archive says that these films take place in the, some remote part of 1940s Germany, unknown or ignored by the Nazis. 
<laughs> he writes, okay, comma, but that goes against the idea that Universal meant these films to be escapist fantasy for war-weary yes, audiences. Yes, definitely. My theory is that these films take place in German-speaking areas of Switzerland. Well, that would work with the... Uh, no, that would work with Mary Shelley. Mary certainly. Shelley, right, yeah. yeah. Uh, this would explain why the culture is Germanic, but there's little or no sign of World War II since Switzerland was neutral. It also may explain why Igor is so excited about running the state. In Switzerland, states called cantons actually have a lot of autonomy from the central government since Switzerland oh. is a confederation, not a federation like the U.S. Duh, I fucking knew that. Just kidding, I had no idea <laughs> didn't, didn't what's know, going on. I didn't know any of that, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Hunt. We all knew that. I think we all knew about the cantons, all right? <laughs> uh, anyway, great episode. Oh, I do oh, agree. Yeah, well, yeah, that, agree there you go. That. Finally. <laughs> now, maybe I judged you wrong. <laughs> no, that, that's interesting. That's uh, good stuff. I think Thank so. you. Yeah. And a very good point. Being Swiss, that would certainly explain most everything. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Um, the first line in Frankenstein of the Modern Prometheus is like, "Yeah, I'm from I'm from uh, I'm Genovese or whatever he says, which is what's they're, they're yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah. Near the beginning because they yeah, find yeah. him in the ice and whatever. It, well, what are you talking about when Victor first starts starts narrating. to talk after yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I do remember that. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> I've been mocked for it, but I have been reading World War II books and listening to World War II uh, uh, podcasts and stuff. And it is interesting to think about, especially in the in the wake of World War One, what the map looked like. I mean, mm, yeah. and then what it looked like by the time you get to World War Two, and then after, after World, World War Two, what we call Germany. Yeah, it's just any who knows what the hell's going on. Right. And there's the Sudetenland, and there's oh, all yeah, kinds yeah, of different yeah. things. And so yeah. the at least the early motivations of Hitler, not motivations, I should say, his motivations were fucking evil yeah. but what what he <laughs> tried to present as his motivations were hey look I just want the German speaking peoples to be united and we just want this little bit of land don't worry about it and that was the big factor was the Germanic uh, peoples mm -hmm. and so there was I, I kind of and maybe we didn't talk about it like this on, on the podcast but there's a Germanic nature to a great many of the countries over there mm -hmm. including yeah. Switzerland yeah yeah, as far as I know, I don't you know. What that I'm Austria, talking about. Austria, yeah. Austria, especially. Yeah. yeah, he's not even German, Hitler. Yeah, that was an interesting point. Recently, I was watching some show where they were like, "Hey, hey, we're see, we're, we're we're done." Yeah, that uh, the Jews in Germany thought they were more German than Hitler, and I thought, well, yeah, I suppose yeah, you they, were. Yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> so that it's just. That's another, just another tragic fucking nightmare yeah. aspect of that fucking tragic nightmare. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of an even bigger... Hey, I'm not, I'm not afraid to call out the Holocaust as a bad thing. Yeah, that's, no, I, I'm I, telling I, you, I'll tell you straight up. That's a bold statement. That's to make. right. <laughs> yeah. Too soon? Yeah, maybe. 